A romance blossoms between Daniel Radcliffe and Zoe Kazan in The F Word. It's a charming comedy by the director of Goon, Michael Dowds. This is Red Carpet Diary at the Toronto International Film Festival. Well, you know, I went, I saw the play, um, and there's something about the tone and the sense of humor that I related to. I felt like they were writing about an experience that I'd had many times. I loved it. I loved that it was a, it was a romance, uh, romantic comedy that used comedy to fuel the romance, and uh, that was. To me, that was like sort of a trick that a lot of rom-coms are missing. It's it's wonderful. I mean, I'd be lying if I, I said, you know, I was Wallace is Wallace is a character that's very close to myself, and uh, you know, like the first I, when I got to the second page of the script and Wallace is correcting somebody's grammar or doing some of that, I'm just like, ah, I'm that guy. I'm that irritating person. I think we definitely got more comfortable, but. He and I, I think, understood each other from the first. Like, we have a similar sense of humor, and he's really game for anything. So as soon as we started throwing that ball back and forth, it started to feel real natural. You know, what I wanted more than anything was chemistry. I wanted two people that, that, that I felt like, for me, I did a lot of hard work in the script to make it as charming as possible, but I was like, none of that's going to matter if we don't have actors that the audience can feel their chemistry. We sent the script to Dan, and he very quickly read it. And, you know, within a week, I was on Skype with him, and then Another week later, I was in um, London meeting with him, and you know, within 10 minutes of meeting him, you kind of, you know, you know that he's right for it. And then Zoe, we saw her film and loved her, loved her in, Zoe, in Ruby Sparks, and uh, and then had a chance to see her talk about the film, and uh, and then met her, and you know, you just thought, sort of take your best guess that these two will get along. They're very similar, very funny, self-deprecating, very smart. So you know. You do as best you can in terms of putting two people together. The second I met him, I was like, oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand each other. And he was just like so easygoing, no drama. The set was really fun and loose and creative. And I think that just starts from the top. The director sets the tone. And I never wanted to leave work. At the end of the night, I just wanted to stay and hang out and just like watch what was going on. I had such a good time. Well, it's also important to mention we had an amazing script to kind of work off because like actors alone without a script improvising can be horrible. I think that we can all relate to being put in the friend zone. Um, so I think that's why, I mean, I've been put in the friend zone. 